do one thing that does not scale. This is a sequel to the blog post, do things that don't scale, but have momentum. So hashtag DTTDS BHM. You want to just sell one thing. That's what this entire lecture is meant to do, is to help you get over the hump of never having sold anything. And CS183 S's in sales is lecture three is meant as a standalone, but definitely as a sequence of 20 lectures is to sell and execute and do one thing, do a thing that does not scale. Thus the hashtag, which you want to write down DTT DS BHM do things that don't scale, but have momentum. This focus do a thing that does not scale, but has momentum. The entire focus of this lecture, CS183S Lecture 3, is to implore, encourage you to do one thing, to, to, to pop your cherry, to no longer be a sales virgin. So as a tech founder, you will be just trying to do this one thing, which is execute one sale. You can do it with a phone, you could do it over an eBay, if you don't wanna to talk to anybody. Uh, over the telephone, you could just sell me, 80 bucks worth of something. Uh, Wyoming Air. Uh, you can even do it on a WordPress blog post uh, where you sell something on a WordPress. So you're going to be selling one thing for this lecture. And that's the entire power of this lecture, which is actually a prequel to uh, CS183B Lecture 3, which is do things that don't scale. Mm, sound familiar? Sell one thing. Just sell one thing. There will be a million excuses of, I just am going to go through the intellectual construct of watching other people sell one thing. This is not an intellectual practice. This is a entrepreneurship practice. And like yoga, you're not tr striving for a perfection of, I'm going to sell one perfect thing in the future for millions and millions of dollars. You're going to be just selling one tactile small thing that is legal, that is simple, that is straightforward. Uh, and that's the goal of sell one thing, CS 183 Lecture 3. Over half of YC startups never sell anything. Sure, I just made that stat up, but that doesn't make it less true. Half of YC companies don't sell, they don't promote. That's why Paul Graham and Sam Altman and Jessica Livingston and Justin Kahn and everyone talk about, subtly talk about uh, selling. They don't call it that. They call it do things that don't scale, but have momentum. They call it uh, promotion. They call they don't even call it promotion. They just hint at it ever, ever, ever so slightly. So I wish you lots of luck trying to beat the majority of companies that get into that portfolio, which you can absolutely do just by selling one thing. Startups need to focus on sales, not marketing. That's not me saying this, even though I agree with it. That's Jessica Livingston, uh, founder of Y Combinator. So when you're doing marketing, it's more hoping for a home run and just uh, almost throwing a Hail Mary where you're hoping that people will, customers and prospects will self-select and magically uh, hand over money. Whereas sales and selling sounds like marketing, but that's the actual tactile, grinding out a sale, executing details, doing things that don't scale. So sales and selling is the harder part of when you're a startup, which is what happens in the first four, 17 steps out of the batter's box. So you're trying to start up. Talking on the telephone is what the book Founders at Work uh, mentions, but doesn't necessarily expand. Uh, talking on the phone allows you to hide age because there's a lot of ageism present in uh, the marketplace. People don't trust, executives don't trust young people to do things and to follow up. Thus, talking on the phone is a little bit of age obfuscation where you're trying to make less transparent the fact that you're 20 years old and relatively new and have never sold anything. So that's why talking on the phone uh, is such a stimulant to sales, sales promotion, where you're going to be able to up your sales based on not just doing social media marketing, but in real world sales and selling. There's an old movie, it's called Booty Call. And 
I found it interesting that there hasn't been a sequel movie called Booty Facebook Message. I'm not even joking. People booty Facebook message. You even might be guilty of it. Booty text, that happens. But if you're going to try to sell an executive, if you're going to try to sell somebody in a cash currency, you're probably gonna need to pick up the telephone. And what's great about picking up the telephone is on the telephone, nobody can tell that you're a junior uh, at Paul Tho's Community College, AKA Stanford. So on the telephone, nobody can tell that you're young. And that's one huge advantage of doing work, sales work over the telephone. CS183, lecture three. Sell one thing, if you wanna do it where you're not even talking to people and you're just messaging on the internet, a great way to pop your sales cherry is to sell one thing on eBay. Yes, eBay, the super old company. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go from listing it to uh, getting well rated. So you can list something, a brown power cord. There's a sub hashtag CS183A for arbitrage. Let me repeat that, CS183A for arbitrage, where you can just sell brown power cords. Uh, there's pictures available and you can actually execute the events advice, uh, sell something that you did not build, uh, where you're selling an existing power cord that's used and then loading it up on eBay. That pops your cherry. That is another alternative for you. Baby steps. Uh, I love baby steps because selling one thing is really hard or else all YC companies would sell a ton and all of them would live versus the majority of them, super majority of them are going to die. Super majority of them are not gonna get one sale. So baby steps, uh, which I am Asian and I used to be shy, baby steps involve pop-up internship, grab a pen, pop-up like a pop-up store, internship like being a slave where now you're actually getting paid. Pop-up internship is where you make 100% and you keep 100% of whatever you sell. And I came up with 13 different pop-up internships. Easy enough, right? Super cool. Hope you're good at Googling. The derivation of CS183S Lecture 3 is CS183B Lecture 3, which is do things that don't scale. And instead of never talking about it until question number 7 or 8, which is what happened in CS183B, I am attempting in CS183S Lecture 3 to pop your sales cherry. And I know that sounds like, but it's true. It's just, it's like being, it's, it's a new thing. And when you're a sales virgin, it shows. Just like when you're talking to a virgin, I mean, I can tell. Popping your sales cherry is entirely possible. And that's what do things that don't scale, but have momentum is such a non-trending hashtag. It's so painful. DTTDS. BHM. If you've sold something and you've gotten to this part already, congratulations. If not, interact with me via email, uh, lawrence.chang at gmail. Lawrence is long for Larry. Chang has an I before the A. The concept is so, there's such an onus, there's such a stigma to selling and even talking about it or advising or mentoring people to sell is, it's dark. It's not dirty, but it's uh, whatever it is. There's an essay for you to read. It's www.paulgram.com slash DS as in don't scale dot HTML. I'm not going to repeat that. It's down below in the red bar.